<clears throat> well, guys, we made it here to Antelope Camp. It is a gorgeous night. We're flinging some arrows, making sure everything is good. We got a crew with us this weekend. We're hoping that a lot of goats are going to drop. Um, we're with the Brock House boys. They've been doing a lot of scouting. And uh, it's, it's pretty much a full run outfit. 100%. It's full <laughs> grind out here. Not quite. We're just going to have fun. We're going to have a fun weekend. Uh, it's a good camp. So we're going to play in a couple, make sure we're good. And then uh, it's opening day tomorrow morning. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're dialed. Alright, good morning everyone. Out in the blind, we got out here pretty dang early. This spot is far away from where we're staying. So we woke up at, I think alarms went off at 2.30 this morning. So we got in here in the dark though, we had to set up this blind. It's just uh, right next to some hay bales. And it's just cut alfalfa field and just goats are in it, in and out, kind of all day long. It's a uh, permission piece that we got. Brockhouse guys have been scouting it pretty much all week long and there's goats in here. So we haven't seen any yet, it's broken daylight. We're gonna hang tight, hopefully we got a group strolling through. It's just kind of gonna be luck of the draw if they're gonna be close enough. All right guys, it's nine o'clock. We have a, uh, we spotted a buck and he's actually across the road. He's been bedded down. We've been watching him for about a half hour, but he just stood up and he's actually walking towards us. I feel like he might cross the road and come into this alfalfa field. Just gotta keep watching him, see what he does. He's locked up on something. He's coming. Come on, goat, you can do it. Well, morning sits over. We saw that one buck. It's, it's a good first sit. We had all those does come in, saw that one. Turn buck, right onto Highway 20. Cody, Cody shot one, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet up with the crew, celebrate for the first buck down of Antelope Antelope Camp weekend. So we're gonna go check her out. <laughs> the crew got it done. <laughs> Got her done, eh? Got her done. Heavy pack out for me. We're on the board, on the warpath. Do it. Yeah, there's one on the hillside, literally whenever we were walking out. He's bedded. Which one are you looking at? Oh, dude, he's big. Dude, he's not bad at all. That is, if there's a goat to kill with custard, that's him. This is uh, General Custard, everyone. Custard? It's dandy. All right. So we got this advantage of this big hill right here. So we're hopefully just gonna pop up over this hill with custard. And hopefully he gets intrigued and just comes. You dude, your dad's gonna love this if this oh, works. Okay. <laughs> you kill him, it's gonna be. <laughs>
Dude, my heart's pumping. Dude, I am racked up right <coughs> Look at all them. Holy cow. That was a valiant effort. I just don't do that. I aimed a little right, and my pin was just like, you know, moving about like this. And I was like, now or never. I'm a little turned Was around. it these right here? Was it this view? It had to be these, this like cut right here. This one. Yeah, it, it had might. to be because we couldn't have see seen any other. Because if he dropped off of that, we're gonna we're gonna be in some business. We spotted this lone goat, pretty much at the base, just over this hill. There's like these couple little bluffs. He's actually in a really good spot. If we can get around and get our wind right, and if he stays there, he's been there for a couple minutes now. If he stays somewhere right there, it could potentially work. Potentially. It's time. It's time. Lieutenant Dan, uh, Lieutenant Colonel is, is sitting out of this one. Custer. Got, Custer. Custer. We got more bucks spotted. We're just, you know, it's the more stocks we get on, hopefully one of these we connect on them. Out in the south foul field, little hill. We're gonna pop up over the hill with the decoy, if we get a range on them, shoot them. We uh, just got done, we busted that stock. We saw this pretty good goat. Probably last stock of the day, it's getting down. Last hour or so of light, so. Hopefully this works. Yards of being shot, he's hurt bad. He stumbled hard, too. Yeah. Dude, I mean, he's not moving. My first shot, he ran out of the way. It's totally gone. It's dead quiet. He heard the bow, he heard the arrow all the way there, ran out of the way. Second shot, he was quartering two a little bit, and when I shot, he just turned. And when he turned, I hit him far back. We watched him, he bedded down. We were able to run around here, just get another arrow into him. Hey. He's big, dude. Like big, 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 big. big. <laughs> Absolute giant. Absolute giant. Like big. He has a flyer coming out of his back like that, dude. Big, big.
Guys, yeah. come here, come here. Remember yesterday our conversation about non-typical stuff? This yeah, is for sure. this is non-typical stuff, dude. Look at that cheater in there, cheater out here. He's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, man. Like he's seriously beautiful. <laughs> Can't thank you enough, dude. <laughs> look at look at those hooks, man. Dude, this is nuts. He's got that. his ivory tips like that. Dude, this is an old goat. Unreal. Is this a big one you've been seeing from the? I've, I've, been, I've been watching him for a little while. What's wild is you're right. Like he's so skinny right here and then just flares out right there. That is a super cool goat. That's well, cool. I went from like, one extreme to the, to the next. My, my first goat was about that big with the bow. now he's a magnum. <laughs> Can't believe, like this is unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, dude, I'm so happy for you. I uh, dude, we had we failed so many stocks today. Finally, like this was the last stock we could do. You know, we had about an hour of light left when we came after. Cody saw this one hanging out in this field before. Caitlin saw it when when you were waiting for us to get back to the truck. Uh, yeah, when I was getting the truck. And then she's like, "We got to go after." So we snuck around. Luckily, we had all these cedars, so we snuck in these cedars and then poked out, and boom, he was right there. Ran out of the way of my first one. Second shot hit him far back, and we had to we had to put a third one in him. But little rodeo, but antelope hunting ain't ain't a rodeo. It ain't it ain't how it happens. Right. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what to what to even do right now, man. That's huge. What a beauty of a night, too. It's beautiful. How perfect. Opening day. Take some photos. Quarter this guy out. And then have a good old dinner because we haven't eaten anything but gas station pizza all day. How's that sound? It'll be earned. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some, dude. Shh. <laughs> Let's snag some photos before it gets too uh, too dark.